Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another uh, Game Builder Garage tutorial. Today we will be doing a, a shooting mechanic. Um, this will work in uh, like a 2D uh, slide kind of camera. And uh, also it will work with uh, a top-down camera. So what I have is uh, I have a 2D scroll camera set up. Uh, I have the game screen and, oh yeah, let me go ahead and just connect it to my person node on. And then we also see that we have our left and right uh, stick connected to our person. So if we go in the game, we can see that if we go left and right, um, our camera will follow our uh, person node on. So what we need to do first is, what we want is, depending on our location or uh, the direction that we're pointing in that's where we want to shoot so to do this we're going to go ahead and take uh, objects simple objects and box uh, all we need to do is connect that to our person so uh, just like that and for our box since this is just going to be like in the center of where our person is uh, we're just going to have it center and center then uh Turn off destructible, destructive, and I th we're going to leave visible on just so we can see, uh, you know, where the box is. So just change that box a little bit. Okay, so what we have now is if we go to the right, we have the box pointing in one direction. And if we go to the left, our box is now pointing the other direction, except it is still in the front. And that's exactly what we want. Um, now all we have to do is attach the uh, the launch object to this box. Uh, the reason why the launch object connected right to our person doesn't work um, is because it's a little bit finicky since there's no way to detect which uh, position our player is pointing at. So this um, box object actually helps us determine uh, which direction we're pointing uh, to. Uh, but what we need to do is go to objects, uh, launch slash destroy slash attract, and go to launch objects and launch one object. So pretty much all we need to do is connect it to our um, box object. And let me go into the launch object settings. So we can go ahead and turn off destructive and destructible. And for the uh, launch direction, since it's going to be in front of us, that is going to be a Z um, minus. And then for a connection point, this is really import, uh, important. This is the uh, connection that it's going to have uh, to our box, basically. So if it's connected to our box, it's going to be uh, Z plus to uh, target connection Z minus, meaning the target connection is going to be the front of the uh, box. So if we go ahead and uh, all we need to do is connect a uh, input for this. So we could just go ahead and map a button. So we'll just get A. And if we go ahead and put that with the launch object, if we go in the game now, uh, we see that our box is still here. And if we press A, uh, it actually launches in the direction that we're looking at. So if we're moving right and then pushing A at the same time, uh, it launches... Uh, those little objects and then of course since uh we can look in this direction as well if we push a it will also launch in that direction so uh no matter which direction that you're pointing at uh, it will always point or it will always shoot ahead of you um and that's exactly what we want uh, but if we go ahead and also uh change our game screen camera to uh overhead view it actually works the exact same. Um, the box in this case is pointing uh, to our direction, but right now we can only still go left and right. So if we go ahead and go to input, uh, stick movement, left stick, and up and down, uh, we can actually go ahead and connect that to our person node on, and we have a full um, overhead view and we can move perfectly fine and our box still um, works the exact same so if we press a we can shoot um, exactly uh, 
in front of our character. And you can, of course, add like a, a gun object and make it look like he's pointing a gun or anything if you really want to. Uh, but this works in overhead view as well. Um, and then one last thing, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the uh, 2D view. So let me go back into my camera real quick and change it back to side view. So if we go back in, there we go. We can only go left and right now. Um, what I wanted to do real quick is just to show that you can also uh, add enemies and have the projectiles kill the enemies. So to do that, um, all we need to do is go to objects, fancy objects, round fancy objects, and get our alien. Uh, we love doing the alien on this channel because it's the most basic uh, enemy. So uh, for alien, since our projectile is going to be little spheres, we need to make it destructible. I mean, destructive from the sphere object. So turn that on. And, oh wait, it's the opposite. Sorry about that. So destructible towards uh, spheres. And uh, for the launch object, the the uh, it's going to be destructive towards the aliens. I got that mixed up for a second. Um, but basically what this is doing is the uh, sphere coming from the launch object is destructive towards the aliens and um, the alien will be destructible, so it will destroy itself from the sphere. So if we go ahead and look in game, we have our little alien dude. So if we press A, it goes ahead and kills the alien. Um, also, what we can do for the launch object is, uh, depending on how small or big we make it, is that will be our projectile. So if we make it really small, um, it will be a really small projectile. Just like that so it can look even more like a gun and if you guys also really want to mess around in here there's uh, launch speed so you can uh, increase that and also launch interval uh, meaning how often you can press the a button for it to uh, launch the object so see there we go it it shoots a lot more like a gun now because it's going a lot faster but um, hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful uh, i tried going as slow as possible but uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, catch you guys in another tutorial. Uh, thank you.